an ancient bard's tale once dubbed the Firin, the children of the Gale. Firin kits learn to run before they can walk, a must for a race as restless as the wind. Usually settlers record their lives or build towers in the ground, but not the Firin. They see no need for hearth or home and require little more than dew to moisten their throats and meat to fill their bellies. Centuries ago, when war tore Auroria, the hero Taiyang led the Firin onslaught. It's said that when he fell, slain by his best friend, the plains burst into flame in protest. When the Firin fled Auroria, they left their grief behind. The wind of their new range brushed their tears away. Other settlers were puzzled by the cat people's feral ways, especially the wealthy Harani. Their suspicions jinxed peace from the start. No Harani was ever praised for his genial nature, and the clash with the Firin came swiftly. Though the Children of the Gale claimed more victories, their opponent was an entire empire. Worrying with advanced technology and trained fighters. To stand against such a well-oiled machine, the Firin had to build their own empire. They called it Temi, and for the Harani, victory became even rarer. Fighting their swift, fierce opponents was like fighting a storm. The Harani backed off. Meanwhile, the Firin grew accustomed to their homestead and began assimilating Harani ways. The Harani bided their time, waiting for the Firin to forget how to fight like the wind. This time, when the Harani struck, their domination was absolute. The Temi Empire shattered like ice, sending shards of Firin back to the wilds. But the wind does not stay quiet forever. Nomads again, the Firin found strength in the plains. They left their grief in the Temi ruins and let the wind brush away their tears. Their power and might rose like a thunderhead. Hundreds of years passed. Seers announced the birth of a new great Mara. He was to lead the Firin back to the plains of their ancestors, on Auroria. Just as Taiyang had prophesied. The key will be to keep the history of Temi from repeating itself to reclaim the plains, not by building an empire, but by embracing the wild nature of the wind, by embracing the spirit of Taiyang that still lives in 